Hi. So today I want to make a little video for you guys. Um, we are going to go over reconstituting peptides um, for all of you that are interested in that. So if you haven't used injectables before, this may be something new for you. Um, so we'll kind of go over some tips and tricks. Um, your peptides will come in a little bottle like this. This is uh, just one of the ones we have for sample. Um, and it will come with instructions on what to reconstitute it with. There'll be a little powder in the bottom of this container, and then you will get a reconstitution solution similar to this, and you will take solution out of here and put it into here. So I wanted to go over doing that for you, um, as well as injections in general. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get yourself an alcohol pen, and this bottle, I'm gonna use this one, just because it's already open. Um, you are going to make sure you alcohol the tops of your bottles. I do this whenever I start with, you know, getting my injections ready. Um, so give them a little wipe with your alcohol. And then you are going to get a syringe. There'll be one like this. These are sterile inside the pack, so don't touch the ends. Um, and then you have a needle that you will put on it. Again, we're not touching the ends, we're opening them, putting your needle on there. Now, there's a cover on here, you're gonna take that off. And you, your provider will let you know how much you need to reconstitute it with. So for this one, uh, we are gonna do two cc's. And so how I like to do this, this is pretty much what you're taught. Um, so you take back two cc's of air, and then when you're putting it in the bottle, you're gonna flip the bottle upside down. And you push in the two cc's of air, and then you pull out fluid. It's, there's a vacuum in the bottle, so that just helps kind of fluid come out as it gets lower. Um, so then once you have your two cc's, or whatever reconstitution you're using, then you have this one, we already alcoholed the top. So you are going to poke this down through and it will go right into this bottle. And then you kind of just swirl them up gently and that will mix your solution. Sometimes you'll see a couple little pieces of like powder floating, just give it a few minutes and that will um, dissolve for you. Okay, so that is reconstituting a solution. That is how that works. Moving forward, you're gonna have these reconstituted bottles then, and this should be kept in the fridge once it's reconstituted. Um, once you're doing your sub-Q injections, um, you are ready. Again, we're alcoholing. And then let's say you're gonna do your abdomen, you're alcoholing the area on your abdomen. Um, stay two fingers away from your belly button, uh, but any of that like pinchable tissue, you can go in here. Um, Again, you're gonna get packages of syringes. Um, it'll probably come in like a pack of 10 of these little insulin syringes. Um, and so these ones are labeled, yours may be uh, 10 through 50 or 10 through 100. These are referring to units on your syringe. So take the cap off and then take the other cap off the other side. And what you're going to do is, again, I pull back how much I'm gonna pull up in air. So if you're if your dose is 10 units, then you're going down to the 10 with air. We already alcoholed this bottle. So putting your needle in, pushing up, and then drawing back to the 10, make sure you have fluid in there. Um, I think a key point to this is there's a rubber stopper in this side. So making sure your needle is kind of in the solution and that you're flipping it upside down. If you pull it like this, you're just gonna be pulling in air. So then you have your 10 in there, and then you're going to, wherever you just alcoholed your tissue, you're going to pinch it, and you're going in kind of like a 45 degree angle. Um, you can aspirate first is what we're always taught, um, and that just means check um, to make sure that you're not in a vessel. Um, but for the most part, you shouldn't be. Um, if you do see red that comes up the syringe when you do that, uh, just redirect your needle into a different angle and, and try again. Um, but you're just going to push the solution in 
um, and then remove it and you should be good. Most of the time you don't need a Band-Aid with these smaller injections. Um, there are other places you can do Sub-Q uh, on the back of your arm. Um, but for the most part, people usually choose abdomen. It's an easier area to hit and usually there's plenty of room there. So um, if you have any questions, uh, please let us know. Um, we're always here to help. You can email or call over. Um, but otherwise, hopefully this will help you with your reconstitution and uh, we'll see you in clinic. Have a good one.